Welcome to Sculpture Studios. You join us on a very sad day where we've been asked to make a dead cow. Now, we've made many cows in the past from glass fibre, but never before one that's passed over. Let's hope the grass is green on the... Oh, oh it's not dead! Guys, she's not dead! Yay! Ignore what the title says, this baby's still alive! We've been asked by Prue Elliott from Compassion in World Farming to create this tied up but not dead cow for their Europe campaign to stop cruelty to farm animals. The idea is that the cow's finished in glass fibre and painted white so that people can leave messages on her. We begin by gridding up the concept images that the client sent us and proceed to block out from large billets of polystyrene. We've made use of our trusty hot wire table to cut out the peripherals, and by using plan, front and side views, this gives us accurate outlines and the correct proportions to get a cubist form. From here we use a variety of references from the client and from the net, and the shape is whittled down using nail and wire brushes. Yes, you need to have a good eye for shape, positioning and detail with any kind of carving you do, but it's always important to use references for something like this so that your mind doesn't wander. What can often happen is you create what's in your head rather than what should actually be there, so having visual references nearby is always advisable. After the main bulk of the shape is formed, the detail is then honed down using stonemason rifflers. Though it's a rather grim concept, we need to make this cow look as realistic as possible. She needs to look thin, malnourished, and we need to make sure we accentuate her bone structure. Basically, the more realistic she is, the bigger, more hard-hitting effect she'll have when she's out in the public. As Prue only wants one of these, we're going over the carving with a blanket coat of glass fibre. We protect the polystyrene from the resin with a sticky back foil, covering every square inch so there are no breaches. We then go over with a few ounces of glass fibre to give the polystyrene a hard shell. The cow's going to be moved from location to location, so the fiberglass will make her more durable for transport, protect her from the elements of being outside, and the obvious prodding, leaning and petting hands of the public. The fiberglass then needs to be cleaned up so there are no sharp points or mega rough patches, and the cow is then given a layer of a flow coat resin. This is a thick liquid resin mix that covers the fiberglass matte texture and is a quick way to give something like this a significantly smoother finish. We've used a white flow coat to provide a solid white base colour, and we go over this with a further white application of a 2K primer. All this is then sealed with a lacquer to make sure the paint's nice and strong. Ropes are added so the poor thing is tied to posts at either end, and these are impregnated with resin so they're solid and integral to the rest of the sculpture. Here we've grabbed a few clips from the Compassion in World Farming trail. Unfortunately my French isn't what it used to be, but obviously they're not advertising steaks or beef burgers, but just from clips like this you can see the effect something like this has on members of the public. It's something to interact and get involved with, and it creates a talking point for their campaign. Hopefully the cow, we hadn't got round to naming her, had a nice trip around Central Europe, and the message was well spread. We'd like to thank Prue Elliott for this unusual request, and for giving us something a little different than the cows that we normally produce. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Claude, we're going to call her Claude. Talk about your woman. I wish you God you could see mine. Lord, you talk about your woman.